Hello all. In this video, we are going to see how to insert a tree map in Excel 2016. Usually, tree maps are helpful to display categorical data. In this data, we have different categories of genre of a movie. Comedy, drama, horror, sci-fi. Uh, yeah, romantic is not here. Um, we have rating as well in the other column, which is uh, RPG 13, parental guidance 13, under age 13, parental guidance, and again R. Uh, we have a movie title and number of tickets sold. Okay, so let me insert this chart and we'll explain the significance of that uh, after inserting the chart. Select your data, go to insert. Under this, under the charts, you can select the tree map here. Okay, so we got the categorical data or hierarchical data that has been represented in tree map. Okay, on what basis it is representing? It is representing with the rectangles and nested rectangles. Okay, so each rectangle represents to a one numerical value. For example, if you notice here, horror movie, which is uh, Cloud Parade 3. Horror Cloud Parade 3 has 14,920 tickets sold. Okay, so that's why it has a bigger rectangle size when compared to others. If you notice, all the horror movie are in the gray color and comedy movies are in the blue, drama are in orange and uh, uh, sci-fi movies are in um, yellow color, right? So here I want you to show something. Um, if you want to insert the chart based on parental, based on rating, okay? So let me insert chart based on rating. Okay, so this is the wrong chart, which is PG-13 is here, PG-13 is here, PG-13 is here. So it's everywhere in almost all the colors, right? So we don't want to have that PG-13 like that repeating in everywhere. So we want it has to be uh, categorized at one place. For that, the data that you must take should be sorted as per the category that you want to sort. Okay, for that you have to sort the data based on rating from A to Z. Okay, so now for this, this is the wrong chart either because you could see horror, horror is, is been uh, there, right? So it's, it's also wrong chart. So I'm going to insert chart only up to these three columns because I have categorized based on my rating. Insert tree map. Okay, so we have only three categories now, which is PG-13, rate, rating R, and rating PG. Okay, so again, this size of the a rectangle depends on the number of tickets sold, which is a numerical quantity. Okay, so if you notice here, I would like to do a sum of all the R ratings, which is 37,847 tickets sold, and I would like to do the sum of all the PG 13 as well. from this one to this one, which is 42,676. And this one would be only one, which I have 2,500 and this much, right? So now I'm going to change some values here and you could notice how the size would change. Okay, so now the R value is highest. So this is PG-13 with 27,000, whereas R, uh, Number of tickets sold for rating R movies are 37,847. So the rectangle size and the nested rectangle size would vary based on the number of tickets sold. Okay, so you could draw your um, 
tree maps based on the journal or based on the rating and we have done on both the uh, columns in this video okay thanks for watching